السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ یا ربی لک الحمد کما یمبا ہوئی لی جلال وجہ کا و عظیم سلطان اللہ ربنا لک الحمد بما خلقتنا و رزقتنا و حدیتنا و فرشت عنا اللہ لک الحمد بل ایمان ولق الحمد بل اسلام ولق الحمد بل قرآن اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل العقدت من لسانی یفقاہ قولی ربی زدنا علم اللہ مفقہنا فی الدین اللہ مینا نسالکا علم نافع و عامل متقبل و رزق طیبا اللہ مثبتنا عند الموت بلا الہ الا اللہ اللہ مسلی علی محمد و علی محمد اللہ مسلی علی محمد و علی محمد اللہ مسلی علی محمد و علی محمد Lesson number 32, inshallah. Uh, we were talking about fail Amar and Nahi. Last class, we just discussed fail Nahi. And inshallah, we are going to continue on this lesson and we will learn how to make Amar today, inshallah. And that would be very interesting lesson and uh, that would help you memorize many, many, many duas because many duas start with the فیل امر سو ان شاء اللہ ہو کین ریمائنڈ می وٹ آر دا اسٹیپس ٹو میک فور بیجنگ اینی ون As I can I can tell we can make we make that to the third to the second person mm -hmm. and the uh, fail is in much zoom form mm -hmm. and then we uh, put la before the fail exactly can you give me example uh, just like in in on this slide is la tan sorry so it's la is la minahi And mm -hmm. then Tansuri is uh, in lightest form because we dropped the noon. Mm -hmm. Very good. And what would be the translation? Uh, you don't help. Yeah. Very good. So what are the steps that, uh, first of all, we always command uh, to the second person. Even though we are going to learn that, yes, indirectly you can command or forbid uh, third person as well. But for now, we are learning that uh, uh, direct commanding and forbidding gonna happen only in second person, which is anta, antuma, antum, anti, antuma, and antunna, right? Only these six uh, sikas. Mm -hmm. So whenever uh, we need to um, make fail mudarya into commanding or forbidding, So for forbidding, what we need to do, we need to just put la nahia before it. And then we need to make this, uh, uh, whatever siga we have, we have to make it majum. If it is uh, anta, then we know that uh, it is going to show us with the uh, scoon at the end. So la tansur. But if uh, has uh, if uh, any siga, the other sigas, if they have noon, We need to drop the noon. This is how we make uh, 
fail mudaria mat zoom right so uh, same way we are going to drop the known and this is how and then putting la that is making basically forbidding so antuma would be la tansu ra we have dropped the known over there and antum would be la tansu ru so we drop the known over there and anti la tansu ri known is dropped antuma again known is dropped la tansu ra and uh, both uh, uh, masculine and feminine antuma they are overlapping right and the context can help us out and then antunna we know that there is not going to be any change we cannot drop this known so it gonna remain the same latan surna right everyone is clear on it yes alhamdulillah okay so now moving on and then we learn that uh, there could be different kind of laws right how many different kind of law we know now three three very good who can uh, repeat them may i yeah sure so the first one is the law nafia in this we are simply uh, negating the statement in the muzari form and the fail muzari will continue to stay uh, in the regular status like for example we say uh, the example that you told us a uh, a haza kitabun is this a book and the answer would be la haza daftarun so the mm. dhamma would still be at the last uh, uh, letter so this mm. uh, this is a negation that no this is not a book but this is a register and exactly. another example was la ta ta uh, kulu uh, hallu uh, she does not eat sweets so this la is simply la because the ta kulu has is in the uh, rafa form so this is again uh, la nafia so in the la nahia uh, the uh, fail muzari will be in the majzoom form and this will be an order or command so uh, yeah and it demands yeah yeah, yeah it uh, uh, yes and it demands the action from the listener uh, by telling him to forbid and uh, for example the example we just learned that la tan surina and uh, you lady you don't help is uh, uh, in this the uh, this is the normal form la tan surina but when we make it la tan suri so this becomes the uh, majloom form and it is an order that you do not help mm -hmm. so la tan surina is a comment so comment, that yes you lady don't help right so mm -hmm. this is the nature of this person anti we are talking to right so mm -hmm. this is the nature that she doesn't help right she is just in herself but when we say la tan suri now we are basically forbidding you are not going to help this person right yes. so this is uh, the difference and what is the third one the la nafia to lil jins in which uh, all the categories are being negated and exactly. uh, uh, i think i don't uh, i think i'm correct if we say that when we use the word la raiba fihi the mm. jar majroor thing always follows the last statement exactly and how we are going to uh, recognize the ism of la nafia to lil jins this for example in the first example la raiba fihi right uh, and the so yes the, the lighter muzari will be after the ism rather not than before mudaria, not mudaria and nasab and ism so this la, after nasar. this la there is going to be an ism this ism would be in a lighter the form the nasab nasab state yes lighter yes. form and nasab yes okay so then yes. and after that it could be jar majroor fragment yeah right so in la ilaha illallah now there is no jar majroor fragment after it mm -hmm. right so mm -hmm. it's not 100% but most of the time in quran e pak you will see that after the ism of la we are going to find jar majroor fragment which is the indication that this is la nafia to lil jins and the main thing is we need to look the ism of la nafia so this raiba is is going to label as ism of la nafia and this ism of la nafia would be nasab and would be light it cannot be la raiban 
it cannot be la raibu if it is la raibu then we cannot call it this la nafiyatul jins okay so these conditions should be all clear in everyone's mind who can repeat again how we are going to recognize la nafiyatul jins I can do it. Um, mm -hmm. it it's uh, when the Allah is uh, followed by an ism that is uh, in uh, mansub form and then it's light. Uh, only then it's called uh, the la nafia the mm -hmm. And, and, and it's sometimes, most of the time it is uh, followed by jarmajru. Exactly. And we need to remember at least one or two examples. So, so yeah, la La Raiba Fi and then uh, um, La Ikraha Fifteen. Very good. Okay, so if you remember uh, these example, inshallah, that is going to stick in our head because we can see now that Raiba is Nasab and it is light. Ikraha mm -hmm. is light and it is uh, Nasab in status and uh, right after them, Jar Majur fragment. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, so moving on. That is done. That was done right. And we were on Amar. So let's start our lesson. So commanding, use the following process to construct a command. Begin with your fail in the second person, Mudaria. So again, we are uh, directly commanding to someone. And we need to start with the second person in fail Mudaria. Make sure that the pronoun matches with the one being commanded. Now, so put the fail in the lightest form. So again, fail is going to be madzoom. And how we make madzoom? If it is singular, if it is anta, then it is going to end on skoon. If it is any siga that is ending on noon, right? So we are going to drop this noon. This is how we make Majum and Antunna we are not going to touch. So Antunna will remain the same. No change gonna occur there. Then uh, that is our second uh, uh, step. Third step is remove the Ta, the first letter of the fail. Okay, so they are saying ta, why? Because we are direct commanding over here, but we need to remember that when we are going to learn the indirect commanding uh, also, right? So in that case, basically we are removing the sign of mudarya. Okay, what could be the sign of mudarya? Yeah. Yeah, ta. it could be ta. ya, it could be hmm. na. Hmm. Anita. Yeah, Anita. Yeah, right? Anita. Yes, Anita. Yeah. Yeah. So all these signs of Mudaria are going to go. Why? Because this is not going to be fail Mudaria anymore. It is we are turning that into Amma. Okay, so sign of Mudaria will go. But in this case, we are going to say that Ta is going to remove. Why? Because we are learning about direct commanding only second person uh, and all the second person gonna have the if the new if the new first letter after removing the ta has something other than a spoon on it your job is done so what does that mean uh, for example if i say allama Allama becomes what in Mudaria? Ta'allama. Ta'allama. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's say anta. So Allama, you allimu, right? So it will become tu alli. Tu allimu, right? And now we have to go through the steps. So first of all, we are going to make it much zoom. So I need a spoon over here. Then I need to remove the sign of Mudaria, which is ta over here. And what what uh, what uh, what is left behind now? What is left behind? Alim. Can I read this word? 
No, so it is starting with the sukoon. We cannot read it. How it is starting with sukoon? It's not. It's uh... alim. Alim. How it alim? is starting with sukoon? What, what is the, this? Ayin? You remove the ta. You remove the. Okay, yeah. it's alim. So, right. Alim. Sorry. Alim. 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 What is next? alim. Yes. yes. Right. So we can read it. Yes. So that means our job is done. Our Amar is ready. Okay, perfect. Very easy. Alim. Now, another example. Now, uh, Nasara Yansuru, right? And we are going to go on Tansuru. Tan Suru. Now, make it Mazum. Tansur. Remove the sign of Madaria. Now we have the first letter with spoon. Now I cannot pronounce that. Right? If you cannot pronounce the new word that we have created after removing the uh, sign of Madaria or after removing the ta, then we need to have one more step to do it. And what is that step that we need to bring a helper, Hamza? Okay, this is, what is this letter in Arabic? Alif. Alif. No haraka. Okay, not alif when it, is, it doesn't have any haraka. So, uh, sorry, when it does not have any haraka, this is alif. But if I call it any fatha, dhamma, or kasra, now we cannot call it alif. What is that now? Hamza. Hamza. It is called Hamza. Okay. Even though it's going to look like that, but still we are going to call it Hamza. When it is by itself, no hareka on it, then you can call it alif. So now in this case, we have to bring Hamza. Helper Hamza. Now, my helper Hamza is here, but I do not know what haraka I should put on that because there are there is Dhamma, there is Fatha, there is Kasra. Right? These are the three haraka that can be sound. Right? And I need to decide which one I have to give to this helper Hamza. So how we are going to uh, how we are going to um, decide what this helper Hamza gonna, what haraka this helper Hamza gonna have. The sure, rule no. is the rule is you are going to look on the middle root letter. What is the middle root letter of Noon, Saad and Ra? This word. Saad. 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 So Saad is our middle root letter. So always you are going to look at the middle root letter. If middle root letter have Dhamma or Kasra, right? You are going to give these Harika to this helper uh, Hamza. So in this case, we have Dhamma over here, right? So I'm going to put Dhamma on this helper. Hamza. And this helper Hamza is basically Hamza Tul Vassal. And Hamza Tul, when I say Hamza Tul Vassal, what does that mean? It's a weak Hamza. Weak Hamza. Weak Hamza. And when something, some other for anything comes before it, we, we are not going to pronounce this Hamza. Okay, so we need to remember that because we will see that in Quran a lot. Uh, so now this word is unsur. So unsur mean what is unsur I have, mean? I have no help. You help. Okay, this is mm -hmm. a mistake over here. It says you do not help. In all of them, it's saying do not. It is not uh, forbidding, so th that is a mistake. This is a typo over here. Okay, so actually, it is saying you help. It is commanding. 
you help so we are asking someone go and help this person you help okay so this this is how it going to work now remember that we are saying that uh, whenever we need to look at the middle root letter if middle root letter has uh, dhamma or kasra the helper uh, uh, hamza will take dhamma or kasra but what about if middle root letter has fatha kasra is going to say it is never ever going to take fatha you need to remember mm -hmm. that there is one exception we are going to discuss that later but right now i'm telling you guys that uh, when we are commanding you will not see fatha on the uh, helper alif unless there is a certain bab and that bab is aslama bab so when there is aslama family then only the commanding gonna start with uh, with fatha and that is always so aslama family always gonna start with fatha otherwise it is always either gonna be dhamma or kasra even though there is fatha you're gonna give it kas uh, kasra then did i make it clear to everyone yes alhamdulillah this is the third letter rule right is that it sorry this is third letter rule exactly this is basically you can learn this is a, a rule in the uh, amar yes so yes. in amar there is one exception otherwise amar is not going to start with fatha okay either it gonna be dhamma or kasra and even though the middle root letter let's say uh, we will see some example in the next slides even though there is uh, going to be a fatha on the middle root letter in that case if it is fatha i'm going to give a kasra to my helper alif okay. and soon it will be clear when we will see more examples okay so yes. let's see this uh, chart over here anta become unsur right and now who can try this one so uh, that should be okay it's written over here antuma is uh, tansu rani who can try this one give me all these steps and try that how we can uh, uh, turn into command anyone ready or should i repeat one more time i can try i can okay. also try okay one of okay. you okay sister go ahead okay so for the the first step was to uh, make the uh, the uh, word light so the tansun fail mudariya majzum right fail okay. mudariya majzum so well, this will become uh, 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 am i taking the tansurani or the tansuruna just noon sorry so you are okay. going to so, drop this noon basically yes i'll drop the noon and then it will become tansura and then i have to remove the sa sound from it so when i remove the ta it starts with a uh, uh, noon with a uh, jism on it so uh, we cannot pronounce it so we will add uh, uh, the hamzatul wasl and since the saad is the middle root letter so we will add a uh, dhamma to the first uh, to the hamza and it will become unsura very good very good so it will be unsura so unsur unsur unsura and antum would be uh, unsuru unsuru very good and anti would be unsuri unsuri and, very good and, and, and the same antuma would be un, unsura and antuna would be uh, ansurna because no changes in this one unsurna 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 perfect yes. perfect okay so let's say it together anta unsur antuma unsura antum unsuru 
anti unsuri antuma unsuro antuna unsurna okay so we need to memorize that so whenever you are working on uh, commanding then inshallah that uh, memorizing would help you so now let's see some examples over here um, we did this one okay now over here so this is the fataha yaftahu right fataha yaftahu what bab is it fataha yaftahu exactly daraba no it is daraba no it's fataha yaftahu if it is daraba how it should sound like yadribu that should be yaftahu fataha yaftihu yadribu right so this is not yadribu this is not yaftihu that means it is not bab daraba so dara when we say bab daraba that means we are saying that in uh, mudariya form the middle root letter is going to have a kasra right we always check on the middle root letter if mid middle root letter has dhamma then what bab is it middle root letter if middle root letter has fatha and i'm talking about fil mudariya in fil mudariya if middle root letter having a fatha what bab is it fatha yafta fatha yafta and even someone is saying sami ayasmao but for that one we need to check because i'm talking about when fail um madi having all fathas 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 right mm -hmm. right so in sami a there are not all fathas sami a the middle root letter having a kasra right so that is different bab so um when you see dhamma then on the middle root letter and the madi has all fathas fathas then this is bab nasara basically and uh, if it has middle root letter has fatha then bab fataha and if middle root letter has kasra right then it go it gonna be what bab daraba daraba yatribu okay so remember that much now fataha yaftahu is bab fataha and when we are taking this yaftahu into anta version because we are going to do the uh, command form here so that will become taftahu right that would be taftahu now let's uh, look our steps so the very first thing is that we need to make it majzum right when i make it majzum that would be taftah now we need to i need to remove the sign of mudariya which is ta over here right yeah. and when i remove this ta now the the first letter is having a sukoon and i cannot pronounce it i need helper hamza now this helper hamza what sign it gonna get what haraka it gonna get kasra if i see the middle root letter having a fatha can i give it to fatha no no what i have to give kasra kasra, kasra. if there is fatha you gonna give it a kasra yeah. if it is dhamma you gonna give it to dhamma 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 simple and easy rule and if it is kasra then kasra kasra okay if it is one more time i'm going to repeat if the middle root letter gonna have dhamma you gonna happily give this dhamma if the middle root letter has kasra you gonna happily give it a kasra if the middle root letter having a fatha you gonna give it a kasra 
clear? Yeah, Antony. Okay. So in this case, we are going to give it a kasra. And when we give it to a kasra, what is the word now? Ifta. Ifta. You can see over here, right? Ifta. 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 So this is our musanna, right? The dual one. And everyone is clear how it is becoming iftaha. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Yes, Okay, let's let's do these uh, uh, dual and the plural one. So tafta hu. Now antuma would be tafta 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 ha ani. Honey, yeah, yeah, for, for, yeah. So you are going to make it majzoom. You are going to drop the sign of mutaria. Now we need helper Hamza, and this helper Hamza is getting kasra. Getting kasra. a kasra. Uh, you, you, when you are putting a kasra, then you need to put Hamza underneath it. So it will become if taha. And then uh, antum would be tafta huna. Tafta huna. Drop this noon. Drop this sign of mutaria. Help her leave. Taking kasra. And it become ifta hu. Ifta hu. And then ifta hi. If taha and if tahna. And now see this dua over here. Allahumma, O oh Allah, if tah, you open. And over here it is if tah, but you will see Allahumma ftah. We are going to say, right? Yeah. Allahumma ftah. Why? Because this meme has to join, and this is our weak Hamza, Hamza Tulvasal, so it is not going to pronounce any more than. Allahumma ftah li abwaba rahmatik. So this is the dua when we are entering masjid. Right? Mm -hmm. So you can see Allahumma ftah. So if you say mafta, it, it, like it sounds different. But you, we should know that why it is happening like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, oh Allah, if tah, you open. So, this is uh, commanding or felu talab. What do we call it? Felu talab. Felu talab. Because we cannot command. Because we don't command Allah. Exactly. So, we are requesting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right. So, that's why we're going to call it felu talab. So, this is felu talab over here. And how we are going to label it? Allahumma is very beautiful, I think. I explained once you, uh, to you guys, Allahumma, uh, about this Mimu Shaddad. Did I? Yes, sir. Yeah, so this Mimu Shaddad is very emphatic. One way is you say, Ya Allah. Right? Ya Allah. Or we say, Ya Rab, right? So we can use all these words to call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But when we say Allahumma, so it is basically with Allah, we are having this me mushaddad. And what is so special about the word Allah? We, we know exactly. many, many, many different names exactly. of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is yeah. so special about this word? This one has all Allah's in all, all attributes are in there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. This is basically the personal name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm -hmm. The other names we know, they are the basically attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? Mm -hmm. So these, uh, they are the qualities, they are the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the word Allah is the personal name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when we are saying Allahumma, 
so we are calling allah subhanahu wa taala uh, with his personal name and his personal name includes all his attributes we just say 99 names but allah subhanahu wa taala's names are infinite we do not know all these names no one knows right so we are we know only the knowledge that is given to prophets and, or uh, the scholar derive the names from the quran or from uh, the ayat right uh, the qualities the attributes of allah subhanahu wa taala but his names are infinite so we are calling upon allah subhanahu wa taala with his infinite names with his infinite attributes and this allah this whom uh, this me uh, mushaddad over there this shadda over there it is basically uh, uh, like uh, giving it a mubalga like it, it is we are calling upon not only uh, his attribute as at once but repeatedly and we are increasing uh, trying to increase uh, like all these attributes so this is beautiful when we call upon allah subhanahu wa taala as allahumma it's very emphatic and uh, it is direct calling to allah subhanahu wa taala and this is the beautiful way to call upon allah subhanahu wa taala so allahumma iftah you open allahumma iftah you open li okay we were doing uh, the irab right so allahumma this is the, uh, we are calling upon allah subhanahu wa taala right so we are not going to this is basically not the part of the uh, part of the uh, sentence so sentence is basically starting with ifta so ifta we are going to say fail fail utalab right and failuhu Failuhu, anta, 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 and then what is this Lee? Uh, MBF, MBF, and what is Abwa Ba? Mafud, 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 Mafud. Does Abwa Ba has any relation with Rahmati? Yes, Mudafud. Yes, 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 it is. Yes. when you see any is some light there should be a reason there are three reason to for an ism to be light what are they um partly flexible idafa mm -hmm. and um i don't know the last one even lal nafia to lil jins right and after harf of nida yeah harf of nida and even uh, uh la nafia to lil jins right after that you gonna see is some light so these are all different reasons for an ism to be light now abwaba is light and then we have rahmati that is making it idafa fragment and again rahmati is light it, it's not rahmatin right and ism plus attached pronoun always idafa fragment exactly right so chain of idafa is going over here abwaba rahmatik so uh, so basically the whole thing is mafulun bihi right how beautiful it is subhanallah you guys can analyze that much Uh, okay next one next one is the uh, wafara and wafara become yaghfiru and you see it says dad over there why it is saying dad dara bayadribu dara bayadribu yeah dara bayadribu so uh that is ghafara yaghfiru ghafara yaghfiru now go to anta version that would be taghfiru right and now we are going to make it majzum 
right? So mazoom would be takfir. And then we are removing the sign of uh, mudariya. And now the first after sign of mudariya, there is a gain, and gain has what spoon. We cannot pronounce it. So we need to get helper alif. Now helper alif, what uh, haraka that will get? Kasra. Kasra. Exactly, because it, there is kasra. So we mm -hmm. are going to give it a kasra. So it will become erofir. Erofir, erofira, erofiru, erofiri, erofira, erofirna. And subhanallah again, beautiful dua. Allahum maghfir. We say Allahum maghfir, but actually it is Allahumma erofir. Right? So this is Hamzatul Vassal. So Allahum maghfir. So again, erofir, uh, we're going to say felu talab, failu huanta. Li is MB, F. And then it says wali. Wa li walidaya. How many words or letters here? Wa li harf of jar and walid. Yeah, so basically this wow is ataf and then li li and then wali walidaya. Wali. Why Wali? Wali Day. Wali Day. It's both, both, both parents. Ma, mother and both father. Parents. Yeah, exactly. So it should be Wali Daini. If yeah. you guys remember Wali Dani, Wali Daini, Wali Daini. Why not Wali Dani? Why Wali Daini here? Because it's Musanna, two of them. Yeah, so Walidaini is Musanna as well, and Walidan, Walidani is uh, Musanna as well. And it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's exactly. This is the answer. Exactly, because we there is Li her fujar, and after her fujar, what do we need? It's a majru, and Walidani, Walidaini, Walidaini, right? Yeah. So the maj majroor form would be uh, mansub or majroor form is walidaini. But over here is the, we are going to take it as a majroor because her fujar is there. Now walidaini, how it become uh, walidaya? Nasiya, my son, my child. Exactly. So for, uh, and we are saying my two parents. My two parents. What kind of construction it is? Idafa. Idafa. And what do we need to do in Idafa? Make to like mudaf make need to be light. Exactly. We need to make mudaf light. And that's why this noon is going to be dropped. And now we drop this noon. And we have now what is the word? Wali day. Wali day. And then you need to yeah, add yeah. dash pronoun because I'm saying yeah. my parents, my yeah. two parents. Right? Yeah. So I need to add this ya. Yeah. And that's why you see two ya's over there with shadda. Right? Wali, wali, deya. Did you guys get it? Yes. yes Were you able to see it before? What's going on here? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> now you know, okay? So, so much going on. Now we need to pay attention, right? To each and every word and break it down and see what's going on. We are able to, inshallah. So, Allahumma firli, O Allah, you forgive me. So, how beautiful it is. First, we need to ask ourselves, right? So, forgive me and my two parents. So, see how beautiful order is. First, you need to ask yourself, 
than your parents. Walil mu me nina. So again, vowel tataf, li is her future, and that's why mu me nina. So mu me nuna, mu me nina, mu me nina. How beautiful it is, subhanallah. So that should be the order. We say that, okay, we need to ask other people before we ask ourselves, right? So, but this dua is teaching us. First, we need to ask ourselves. We need to care about ourselves first. Right? And especially when we are asking for forgiveness. Right? So, we are more sinful than anyone else, we should think. So, we are asking Allah's forgiveness first. For ourselves, then to our for our parents, and then for the believers. Subhanallah, beautiful Dina is our uh, Deen, right? We say that in uh, all our uh, salas. We ask uh, dua for our believers. So, if we are believers, how many people are asking forgiveness for us in uh, in uh, each salah? Subhanallah. We and uh, we do not even know how beautiful. Oh my Rab. Okay, next one is uh, uh, Irham, which is coming from Brahima Yarhamu. What Bab Brahima Yarhamu? No, sorry. Uh, Samia. 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 Exactly. Samia. This is Bab Samia. Right? Because it's Madi has uh, Kasra That's on the middle sorry. root letter. So this is Bab Samia. So Rahima, Yarhamu, Bab Samia, and then we uh, go to Anta version that would be Tarhamu. Tarhamu. Now, Tarhamu, and we go to step. Who can try this one? Explain me all these steps. Yeah. I can try. So, for Tarhamu, uh, when we made it, make it into a Majzum, we will put Sukun on me. So, it will become mm. Tarham. Mm. And when we are uh, making it into the um, Amar, uh, we, we are going to drop the Ta. Mm. So then we have uh, uh, sukun on the first letter, which is ra. So mm. what we are going to bring the uh, hamza to wasil, and mm. it's going to take kasra. Uh, Very good. So it will even though become air this, Yeah, even though ha has fatha over there, but we are not going to give it a fatha. We are going to give it a kasra, and that will make it irham. Irham. Irhama. Irhamu, Irhami, Irhama, Irhamna. And again, Rabbi Rufir. So actually it is Rabbi Irufir. But we say Rabbi Rufir. And why Rabbi is Rabbi over here with Kasra? There is no Harfujar over here. What is making it uh, with Kasra? That's, that's yeah, what Myra. Exactly. Myra. Rabbi, Even Rabbi, it could be Ya Rabbi. Yeah. Ya Rabbi. So Ya is missing over here. My Rab. Subhanallah. So Rabbi, then Igufir. How are we going to label it? That's Rabbi. 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 And then again, wa irham. And we are not going to say wa irham, but we are going to say it. Warham. Warham. But as a student, we should know actually it is irham. Mm -hmm. So, rabbi ghfir, warham. Again, warham, same. We're going to say felu tala failuhu anta. Wa an and then wa anta khairu rahimin. This the whole sentence is basically the hal. 
we are saying uh, oh rab what is the hall of our rab you are khairur rahimin you are the best of yes, those who uh, show mercy no one can show mercy like allah subhanahu wa taala he is the best right so this is how it is so assalamu alaikum ustad hmm so for the for fail nahi we say like a fail nahi majmun bila nafia and fail hu anta or anti la nafia la nafia for fail amar nahi not nafia nahi for nahi so for fail amar we don't need to say majmun bi right yeah exactly we need to say i forgot we can say that okay so oh. fail talab uh majzum we we not going to say the reason because we know when we are saying fail talab or fail amar basically it is majzum right by itself yeah so we can just say that um fail talab majzum and then failuhu whatever is the fail okay tadakla yeah and khairu rahimin uh, I, i said the best and khair is uh, ismu taftil right mm -hmm. it could be better it could be best why we i am saying best over here because the uh, mudafila is proper no because whenever uh, that uh, whenever ismu taftil is coming as a idafa fragment okay then we give the meaning uh, translation as best we, we take it superlative degree mm. so ismu tafdeel as idafa fragment okay so then the meanings would be superlative otherwise comparative okay so now uh, next one is anfaqa anfaqa yunfiqu it should be written like that anfaqa yunfiqu not you anfiqu doesn't make sense it would be yunfiqu and what bab it is when i say anfaqa yunfiqu aslama 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 so aslama yes can i demo right oh, actually it should be you um aslama you slimu you aslimu actually it should be but uh, we know that some changes happen so that's why aslama you slimu and same way anfaqa will become yunfiqu yunfiqu so now anfaqa yunfiqu now this is the bab when uh, there is aslama bab this is the only time that fail amar or fail talab is going to take a fatha fatha right so that's why you see over here anfiq anfiqa anfiqu so what's going on over here anfaqa yunfiqu and then tunfiqu right and we make this uh, majzum we drop this sign of mudariya and now we cannot pronounce it mm -hmm. and we need to bring helper alif now this helper alif is supposed to take what kasra kasra so we can say infik but this is bab aslama right so bab aslama doesn't matter what is on the middle root letter it is going to take fatha okay one more time bab aslama doesn't matter what is the what is the har ka on the middle root letter regardless of that aslama fam, uh, bab when we are turning that into amar it is always going to start with the fatha otherwise fail amar is not going to start with fatha ever 
what two sounds uh, in uh, fail amar we are going to find mostly the middle letter e e and o o and e and u either u or e yeah. but when it comes to baba slama then it is going to take fatha fatha so we need to remember uh, that okay so this is how it become anfik so what is so ustad that this alif is not the root letter which one like aslam or anfik yeah that's the, why it's taking uh, fatha no the alif beginning alif on that one is it not the root letter or is it not root letter no yeah, root letter yeah. was known for and kaf and then it is part of the container this is marker of the family aslama family that it is always going to start with the you uh, with hamzatul fatha hamzatul qata with fatha right so this is how it is always going to start and when it, we are turning that into a command then basically it is taking fatha oh it is not that that hamzatul qata the one is originally in the madi form not that one right no that is we are dealing with the and we, yeah and we already dropped the sign of mudariya right oh okay yeah so this we are dealing with mudariya now anfaqa that is basically madi yeah okay. i was thinking like allama then we say allim i was thinking like that. this is i no. have a question yeah Uh, so it's only the aslama bab that we have we take uh, fatha not exactly. the other big families right no no okay. okay this is the only family so yeah so whenever we see the ham hamsatul wasl with the with the fatha then uh, in the command form so you hmm. you recognize this as a slama family exactly yeah okay that's the let's say okay yeah Indication. that's fair enough right so we can easily recognize a slama family in amar because this is totally standing out it's different it has a exception right yeah, yeah. so yeah. anfiq anfiqa anfiqu anfiqi anfiqa anfiqna what would, would be the translation of anfiqna <laughs> like you you, you all spend all women yes. should spend so we are commanding to all these ladies that you spend <laughs> and uh, in quran e pak it says wa anfiqu mimma razaqnakum so anfiqu what we gonna say you all should spend you all, you all spend. spend from your uh, risk oh, exactly so allah subhanahu wa taala is commanding us that you all spend spend mimma from what from whatever razaqna and now razaqna what what is uh, what do you notice in razaqna the maqbulun bihi adin here right razaqna ंग मादि whatever i already have given you right so whatever already given to you don't say that oh i don't have anything allah subhanahu wa taala has given us many many blessings if we do not have money we can use our abilities in the way of allah subhanahu wa taala mm -hmm. right so this anfiqu does not mean only money risk is not only our money risk is not only food what can uh, can be the risk our skills talent, our time talent knowledge, knowledge talent, talent, talent. exactly yeah, yeah see our knowledge our abilities our skills our money our time our anything could be the risk right 
Yeah. Subhanallah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that you all should spend, you uh, uh, not even should, this is basically a direct command. You all spend mimma, whatever, razakna, I already have given you. And this kum again. So we need to think about it. Where our energies, where is our time going? Are we spending that in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Right? So every day, some of our abilities, some of our time, some of our other uh, uh, shades of uh, risk should go in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, yeah, so that is that dua is also considered uh, is considered in the zakna. Mm, no, this is not dua over here. No, no, no. If we are making dua, I mean, mm -hmm. you are just saying that abilities and your money and your talent and everything. So, is the dua also is included in that? Your dua. If you make, if you make dua for the somebody. ability to make dua. It's daya. You are saying that dua could be the risk? Yes. Hmm. Dua, how dua could be the risk? If you are making think, this for uh, dua for someone, yes, basically someone else, yeah. the risk for that person, right? Mm -hmm. Or someone is making dua for you, yes, that could be the risk, right? Mm -hmm. If you think that way, yes, it could be. Okay. okay. Now, so some some of uh, the family are very uh, easy to make or turn into Amar and some we need to bring helper uh, Alif. So you will see, uh, uh, let's do some practice over here. We need to turn that mm -hmm. into commanding and forbidding. So the word is yes tapshiruna. So first of all, yes tapshiruna, what kind of fail it is? Fail mudari. Hmm? Mudari. Fail mudari. How do we know this is mudariya? Starting with Lamita. Starting with Lamita. Yeah. Anita. Anita, how? So Anita beginning, right? Mm -hmm. And Una ending. Yes, fail mudariya. Now, what siga is it? It's Antum. 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 Oh. Okay, when you see wow noon, yes, you should know this oh. is plural, but then you need to check the beginning. Yeah, if it is oh, ta okay. or ya. Yeah. yeah, okay. Home. home. Okay, so if it is ya, yeah, then it is whom. Now can <coughs> we take it to the anta version? Tastabshiru. Yeah, that would be tastabshiru. Now, Tastapshiru, uh, how we can turn that into Amar? Tastapshir. Tastapshir, then drop the ta and then Istapshir. Istapshir. Very good. Because uh, uh, what are the root letters? Ba, Sheen, and Ra. Ra. Ba. Sheen, sheen and ra. ra, right? And the middle root letter is Sheen. Kasra. And it is having a Kasra, right? So we are going to give this helper Hamza a Kasra. So it will become Istabshir. Istabshir. So forbidding would be La. So you, you can just put La over here. Make it Skoon. La Tastabshir. But the commanding would be is uh, uh, is tapshir is tapshir now next one is uh, ta'lamu what is ta'lamu what siga is it it is basically alima uh, the Madi version is Alima Ya'lamu. 
So what Bab is it? Samia. Samia. Alima Yalamu. So now these the basic one, we need to memorize them basically. Right? So you should know this is always Alima, not Alama. So Alima Yalamu. And then we see over here Ta Alamu. So this is Anta version. So Siga is Anta. Right? And now we can turn that into forbidding first. So that would be la ta alam and amar would be ilam ilam very good ilam not alam even though the middle root letter has fatha right but our helper ali will get a kasra kasra so ilam ilam how we can do conjugation for all these six siga? Can someone try? Ilam. Ilam. Ilama. Ilamu. And then la ta'alam. Anti. Oh. Ilami. Ilama. Then ilamna. Very good. Am I right? Yes. Okay, Ilami, what is the translation? Like, um, you, this is alarming. No. Oh, no, knowing. So, you all, you, Ilami, like, you, Anti, no. Anti, yes. Okay, so you, Anti? No, like, no. order. Yeah, no. So, you, you, you gain knowledge. You learn about it. Okay, next one. To Nazi Lena. But uh, uh, first of all, uh, Madi or Mudaria? Fahili Mudari. Siga. Auntie. Auntie. Yeah, Auntie Surina. Tanzulina. Right? So this is Auntie. Now, how we can turn that into forbidding? La, la to nazili la to exactly la so we need to drop this noon la to nazili now amar uh, amar should be uh, in, in, in. no it should be only nazili it's very easy to be nazili why we are saying to in amar no, it should be only Nazil, like Alim. So, uh, yes, exactly. So, command would be Naz, Nazili. Nazili. For Anti, right? Yeah, this is Anti. Huh. So, we drop the noon, we drop the ta, and the word is readable. When word is already readable, we do not have to bring helper alif anymore. Yeah. So nazili. Then next one is tata raja ani. But siga. Antuma. 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 How do we know antuma? Ani. 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 And then ta. Ta. And only antuma. Also here and under. here too. Exactly. Yeah. There it could be three. Mm -hmm. Right? So Antuma Siga for masculine, feminine, mm -hmm. plus he uh, yeah. the third person. Yeah. Right? So it could be three of them. So now uh, forbidding would be Yes, la tata roja. And uh, command would be Taraja. Exactly. So when we drop this ta, we are still, uh, the word is still readable. Mm -hmm. Right? So why we are not adding alif in there? Uh, Hamza, I mean. You tell me. 
that you uh, be strong in this uh, learning what we are doing because conjugation is really important so five conjugation a day keep that rule five conjugation a day you have to do maybe two of them by writing and the rest of them just orally but you guys need to be in a habit to say five conjugation every single day open up purane paak pick an uh, a verb and then do its conjugation madi mudariya now you know amar you know uh, 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 nahi right so do all this practice <coughs> that is going to make you guys strong and that is keep you going otherwise you gonna just leave okay so this is really important so now forbidding would be la yasrikna and do you see that yes rikna no, we don't drop the noon do we drop the noon on hunna or no. antuna no no no, 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 we no they don't no. change women oh, keep the noon yeah so uh, if that is basically indirect no, commanding no. because we see that this is not second person this is hunna this is third person right but still yes. indirectly we can command and forbid even third person so la yasrikna would be like we are suggesting to these ladies that no, uh, uh, they should still. not still. they should still. not feel so that was it and then so what will be the meaning of this tataraja tataraja uh, raja mean to return yeah, to... so taraja uh, this is uh, dual so both of you return like to return salary like return yeah raja a yarjiu Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says in Quran, Quran Pak, "Yerjiun, you all will be returned." Or Turjaun. Now Turjaun is Mabni lil Majhul. Like we say, so you all will be returned towards who? Towards Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Right. So hinting to day of resurrection. So Taraja, uh, both of you will be, or uh, both of you return, return, or both of you do not return. Commanding. Sorry, I have a question. Sorry, I'm confused about the first one. Um, Which one? Can, the first one. Why can it be um okay? So is sub is sub you instead of is sub share. why it cannot be what what are the steps of making mm. fail uh, amar and uh, fail nahi okay so you get uh, mazum 
So how we can make mud mud zooms? We dropped the loan. We dropped the loan, but we did. Why did we drop the wow also? I don't understand. No, we yeah. didn't drop the wow. Okay, you know. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is basically I was talking about Anta over here. Okay. Okay. We were talking about Anta over here. So that's why we are saying La Tastabshir or Istabshir. But if you are turning this one over here, this is Humsega, right? right? If you right. are turning that this one over here into forbidding, that would be La Yastabshir. Yes, Ru, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. The wall, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. Good. Yeah, sorry. That was confusing. I was uh, uh, doing Anta version. Okay, so this is Felu Tala. We did last class. And I think we all, so now these ones over here. Uh, just 10 more minutes, we can do some of them as example. And I would love to hear from you guys. I do not want to speak too much. I, uh, I have to have another class and I have to talk in that class as well. And then my I'm going to be, my voice going to go again. So can someone try? Walam yattaqiz waladan. What's going on in this uh, part of the ayah? Can I try, Ustada? Hmm? So, wa is harfu ataf. Hmm? And then, lam is harfu jazimatu lil mudariya. Hmm? Harfu jazimatu lil mudariya. Hmm? And then, yattakhiz pilu mudariyun majjun bilam. Hmm. And then Very good. And the translation would be? And he didn't take a son. Is there yeah. A... <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you see with the lam, even though fail mudari over here, but because of this lam, we are saying didn't. Yeah, because lam give the meaning of past. With the exactly. Yeah, very good. Okay. And for Yattakh um, is the base form is uh, basically base form is Akhaza. Akhaza. Yakhizu. Akhaza. Yakhizu. No. Akhaza. Yakhizu. Akhaza. Yakhizu. Akhaza ya khuzu. Akhaza ya khuzu. Akhaza ya khuzu. Now I'm confused. Either it is Akhaza ya khuzu or ya khuzu. We need to check which one is it. And sometimes, you know, one, three root letter, they can be part of two bab as well. So it is possible that it could be bab nasara as well as Bab Samia. Okay? So that is also possible, but we can check in the dictionary which, which one is it. Okay, it's Yakuzu. I just checked. Hmm? It's Yakuzu. I just checked the dictionary. Yeah, okay. So this is Akhaza, uh, Yakuzu, Bab Nasara. And then Ittakhaza. Right? Doesn't look like okay, what's going on? That looks so different. So, this is basically a family which is Ekotaraba, if you guys remember, right? Ekotaraba. And uh, when we are taking this Akhaza in Ekotaraba family, some changes happen, and this is how it's uh, gonna look like Ittakhaza. And inshallah, we are going to learn soon why these changes happen. So, ittakhaza become yattakhidu. So, iqtaraba becomes yaktaribu, right? So, this is ittakhaza yattakhidu. Okay, next one is, uh, who can read that? 
and try to analyze it. So us you do it's a command. So it will be um maybe amar mm -hmm. uh, um, and then modare uh, Failuhu. um hum. Hum. You're saying fail amar, right? Um, antum, antum. Antum. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we, we dropped the yeah we, we dropped it. Okay, so it's uh, so what 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 is uh, basically there would be sajada yes judo and yes. then we go to antum version that would be tas tas judo right yeah tas ju judo do na so we drop the noon and ta tas judo na so we drop this noon. And then ta. right, we drop this ta, and then we say us okay. do, yeah. right? But it is not going to show us us do because maybe something is over there before it, right? Yeah. So yeah, it says uh, it doesn't say any haraka, right? So us judo li rahmani. So fail amar failuhu antum antum. Hmm? And then the Rahman is NBF. Exactly. Perfect. Easy. Alhamdulillah. And then this is Sajada Yas Judu, which make it Bab. What Bab? Nasara. Nasara. Right? Exactly. Nasara. Okay, next one. Someone else need to try. So what is this Kul? Kul feel Amr. How do we know? What's going on here? This That can be tricky. What is the base form? Qala Yaqulu. Exactly. So Qala Yaqulu and then uh, for Anta version would be? Taqulu. Okay. Now, how we can turn that into Amar? So, you make okay, yeah, spoon. Yes, what else? Then you remove the ta, hmm. so it will be cool. But that's wow, with um, spoon there won't be pronounced, so it will just be cool. Just the path and the exactly line. Exactly, two scones. We have scone here, we have scone here. We drop the so letter. in the rule is in Arabic grammar, two scones, you will never see two scones together. Yeah. If that happens, we need to drop one of the letter. So we cannot drop lam. Why? Because this is sound letter. This is like perfect letter, but wow over here is the weak letter, right? So the kurbani gonna happen to this wow. We are going to slaughter this wow. And now we have the word pull. So this is what it happened. Pull, you say, and then what happened? Uh, okay, uh, how are we gonna do the irab of it? So, kul fil amr fa'il fa'ilu anta hu allahu hu allahu maqul al qaul maf'ul bihi of kul then hu allahu hu is mubtada and then allahu is khabar Mashallah, beautiful. You made my day. Beautiful, beautiful. Barakallahu fiki. Okay, next one. Qul a'uzu bi rabbil falaq. Quickly. Can I try? Hmm. Okay, so pull uh, is a failure armor. Mm. Um, Anta. Mm. 
And then a'udhu bi rabbil falaqi. That is uh, ma, what is called? Ma'pul uh, bihi. Mm. Uh, Ma'pulun ma bihi. Mm. Fi mili nasab. Mm. Ma'pulun qawl. Ma'pulun bihi. Fi mahali nasab. Good. And then again, this Makulun call or Makul is came as in verbal sentence, Zumnatul Felia. Mm. And then Aulu is a Felu Mudarium, Luhu Ana. And then B Rabbi. B is Harfudar, and Rabbi is the Sam Majrur, mm. which is again light. So this is could be the Mudaf. And then it has Al Falaqi. So the uh, is is actually uh, can be eligible for mudafilahi because it has a kasra at the end. Exactly. So, so B is harfuzah. Rabbi is isam mazrur and is again the mudaf, and al falaki is the mudafilahi, and then together we can put it in the bucket of MBF. Perfect. Barakallahu feek. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, and then Aza Yauzu. Aza Yauzu. This is the basically base form, which is making it Bab Naswara, right? And one thing about Auzu, uh, we say Auzu Billahi Shaitani Rajim, right? So this is beautiful word. Aza mean you are sticking to something. So when we are saying, A'uzu, O Allah, I seek your protection, we are clinging to uh, basically uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this, uh, 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 it says that Aza Ya'uzu is basically, you know that uh, how our flesh is uh, attached or clinging or... Uh, kind of uh, stick to our bones, right? We, we cannot separate them. We need to put a lot of effort, right? When If we are trying to uh, separate our, uh, any flesh from a bone. So this is the meaning of Aza uh, Yawuzu, uh, clinging to someone. So subhanAllah, we are... Uh, Asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I cling, I stick to you, right? Because you are the only uh, protection against shaitan for us. So, and I seek protection over here. Uh, I seek protection in rub of falak. What is falak? One ayah in Quran Pak says uh, about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he is fali kul habbi wan nawa. Right? So he is the one who is fali. Fali means to bring out, to like. Uh, uh, like a breakthrough, like that? Please. Exactly. Please. Breakthrough. Please. You know how from a seed. Right. Right, how uh, uh, it rip open and the uh, seedling come out, right? So how hope uh, this word is showing us that uh, doesn't matter how much darkness or depression we have in our life, he is rub of Allah. Subhanallah, how beautifully he can uh, or easily, right, or unknowingly. We do not even uh, like observe uh, when this seedling is coming out of uh, one day, you just put the seed in and in few days, we are not even able to see it and suddenly it comes out, right? And in the same way, falak is the time of uh, dawn, right? So it's pitch dark, right? And slowly how... Uh, like uh, and uh, you know yes it is dark in uh, at night but when it is uh, going to start morning the sun suddenly comes right if you guys have noticed if uh, especially if you are uh, 
uh, watching sunrise, you will see, okay, we are waiting, okay, uh, for the sun. And suddenly it comes and it's all bright, right? So this is basically the uh, uh, Rabbil Falak over here, that he is the one who can bring out things like that. Doesn't matter how uh, life is uh, uh, kind of giving me depression or uh, uh, there is darkness in my life, but there is hope in Rabbil Falak that whenever he decides to bring light in our lives, he can bring out of nowhere very quickly, very easily, right? So this is uh, uh, two words, A'uzu uh, and Falak, beautiful words over here. We are uh, seeking protection of and asking help. Qul A'uzu bi Rabbil Falak. Subhanallah. Uh, Ustada, I have a question on that. Uh, mm. uh, Rabbi, be a uh, shadanit. It means uh, uh, it's the same. Um, uh, it has the same. This thing like uh, you have Allah ma mean has a shada so bahas shada so it also encompasses encompasses mm -hmm. all the qualities. Uh, hmm. And just yeah. let me be Rabbil Fala. B is Harfujar, Rabbi is making. No, she is talking about the Shadda, like Allahumma, the Mim Shadda means that Shadda. it has yeah. all, all Sifa built in it. So she is asking here, Ba Shadda, is it meaning ah. something yeah. like a multi, mm -hmm. multi, multitude or something or not? No, this multitude is basically Mim Shadda. And Shadda means like uh, something is uh, repeatedly happening, but over here I don't think so. Think there is any the original word, Rabbun. Yeah, exactly. Now, but I'm thinking uh, be Rab. Rab is it, it should be Rab. Uh, Ba came right, so it could be B Rabbin. Yeah, no, this is uh, actually regular, right? Mm -hmm. Rabbun, and then for the mudab is Rabbu, and then so Rabbu. we cannot say this uh, even Ya is missing over here. I don't think so. It it is making sense here. Mm -hmm. No, she is not talking about yes. She is talking about multi multitude of the sifa of Allah Subhanahu No, yeah, no, no, no. Multitude is because uh, Allah's name is pers his personal name, right? Yes. And uh, for example, I my personal name is Rahat, right? And I have different qualities, some weaknesses, some uh, good qualities in myself. So this is part of my personality, right? So mm -hmm. is in the same way we are saying that the word Allah, since it is his personal name, so all his, uh, when we say the word Allah, all his qualities, all his attributes are basically in this name, yes. right? But Rabb is not the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rabb can be any. The, uh, the Arab used to say uh, Rabbul Bayt to the ladies, mm -hmm. lady of the house, yeah. Yeah. right? So mm -hmm. Rabb is basically the owner of anything. So I can call one myself the quality, Rabb. right? It is one of the quality. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is basically Rab because he he does nurture us, right? Sustainer. Yeah, he is the sustainer. He is the uh, Rab has many different connotation in it. Mm -hmm. Rab means Khalik, Malik, Mudabbir, Munaim, mm -hmm. right? All these yeah. uh, 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 connotation are in the word Rab. Mm -hmm. But uh, this uh, uh, Shadda is not. Uh, a kind of an giving any implication over here. So be Rabbil Falak, this is basically the regular by Sarfujar. Rabbi is a Samajroor. And then Rabbi is again Mudaf. And Al Falafi is the Mudafi Lahi. Okay, so the rest I'm going to leave on you guys.
Ustada, we uh, were trying, try, we try in our um, study session. We need little help on if you don't mind. Uh, Which one? Ten and eleven. Okay. Oh, ten and eleven. Okay. Ten. Lakadis takbaru fi anfusihim. So, what is about it? Like la is half of emphasis. How are we gonna label the qad? Qad is called harfu tahqiq. Harfu. So this is harfu tahqiq. I can write over here. Harfu tahqiq means something that already um, got some proof. Tahqiq. Like ta haqaf. Haq from haq. Oh. Haq is truth, right? Mm -hmm. So something harfu tahqiq because uh, qad is basically oath. Right? We, like we say wallahi. We are mm -hmm. taking oath on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? So mm -hmm. qad is also kind of an oath. So something uh, solid is coming after it. Some oath is coming. Something important is coming. So harfu tahqiq means the harf that uh, whatever fact is coming after it, it's established already. Okay. So laqad, qad is harfu tahqiq, then istakbaru. Rest is fine? or uh, Yeah, it is okay. Rest is fine. Okay. What else? And Next then, one is, so in this, Lakadis Takbaru Fian Fusihim, they have certainly become arrogant within themselves. So basically, that is already because Allah knows the uh, hall of uh, everyone's heart, right? The feelings, everything, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what's going on. So he is already uh, like uh, giving his words that they have certainly become arrogant within themselves that they are arrogant within themselves and uh, the contest can help us out uh, like they are not going to believe or whatever right mm -hmm. so these are the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already established that they are uh, arrogant next one ya ya vailata so, ya is uh, harfu nida over here. Vailata. So, what is vailata? This is basically an expression. So, woe to me. Like, I'm done. I'm doomed. Okay, destruction upon me. Right? So, ya vailata. So, th this is basically showing the uh, regret. So, ya vailata is not part of the uh, okay. part of the sentence. Okay. So, ya is harfunida and vailata is munada. Over here you can say and basically this is an expression. And then laitani. What is laitani? The harfuna Mubtada. Yeah, exactly. So, laitani is mubtada and then lam yattakhiz fulan and khalila. This is basically the khabar. Right, and then we can further break down. Lam is uh, <laughs> exactly, and then attach is ana in it, yeah. right? And madzum because of lam, and yeah. then fulan and halilan. That's what is that? Bihi. Exactly, my fulan became as most of sifa, right? Yeah, so wow, what a regret over here, and what is the regret on? That why I had this uh, this person as my friend yeah. in my worldly life. So may Allah may not make among those who are going to regret on our friends on the day of judgment. So that's mm -hmm. why righteous uh, company is really important. We need to see uh, who are our friends. Because this is the clear hadith of uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The gist of it is that um, you are on the dean of your uh, friend. Right? right? Oh. Mm -hmm. So whatever your friend do, eventually you're going to start thinking and start doing these things. So that's why it is really important that you have righteous friends, righteous company. 
so sorry i forgot oh, we need help with the 12 to to uh, level the quran and mahjur and how you can do it so inna harfu nasab mm -hmm. right where, where is the isam of inna qaumi qaumi so this is mubtada and now ittakhazu they took they took what haz al qurana mahjura so the whole thing is khabar right Pina. and then or oh, uh, yeah fi mahli nasab because this is jumla failia oh yeah so this is jumla failia but basically jumla failia is coming as a khabar for inna and khabar of inna is supposed to be in Allah Ghafoor Rahim Arfu, right? And this is fi mahalli rafa we gonna say, and then itta khazu felun, itta khazu. So what is itta khazu? They took. So this is madi. Yeah. Felun madi five. Madi hum. Yeah. Right. And then they took what? So this is mafulun bihi, the whole thing, and then further we are going to break this mafulun bihi haza, and after haza I have al Quran. Yeah. So it's a fragment. A fragment. Exactly. So then we can say Hazal Quran is Muqtada and then how are we going to say Mahzuran? We are having problem with the Mahzuran. Okay, so now this Mahfoolun Bihi, Hazal Quran is a fragment. Mm -hmm. And that could be our Muqtada. Hmm. We are having problem because how are we going to say Mahzuran cover because this is Nasr status. Mm, yeah, exactly. Okay, so we are. If we take it as a no, we we cannot take as a uh, separate sentence. Sentence, no. Right. So this is basically mafulun bihi, and then hazal Qurana we can say isamishara and musharun ilahi, right? And this Quran, we they have taken this Quran as as. Mahjuran, so this is basically hal. Maful hal, okay. Yeah. Maful hal. Okay, so this is. Basically, this it has a have two maful. Yeah. So hazal Qurana, mafulun bihi number one, and mahjuran maful bihi. Oh, sorry, maful hal. Yeah, not uh, hazal Qurana mafulun bihi and mahjurun maful hal. That's So, inshallah, uh, we can end over here. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Quran al Hakim wa nafani wa iya kum bi ayati wa zikri al Hakim. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdika. نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت ونستغفرك 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 ونتوب إليك سبحان ربك رب العزة يما يصفون السلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين.